hire dedicated developers, not developers that that do the the framework, you know, the firm, you know, the background stuff. Dedicated developers that build worlds, professional worlds. That's going to bring people in, and they would not be that expensive. Yeah, and you could even they could even do it like that. They could structure it to where VR chat's free, all the user worlds are free, and we have developer made worlds. And for four ninety nine a month, you get to play those. I would pay that gladly. Let me put it to you this way. How many gold people do you see running around? They're paying ten dollars a month for what? I think we need to I think we need to bring back where we were able to mod like looking for avatars and just using certain mods. I feel like we I feel like because of the messed up few that everybody that was just using certain mods, especially like ASL mods and stuff like that, they got taken away from people. No, they they haven't really done anything regarding helping those people out, which is really crappy because I do know a certain amount of people that relied on that. And I also know a lot of people that are like, that are just, you know, that choose to be mute and not talk at all, that use those type of mods as well. And they kind of just are now, like, stopped playing as a whole. A lot of people went on a hiatus for, like, a long time. I know a few people that have come back, but a lot of people that just... The ones that came back are the ones that have full bodies, so they're like, I mean, I spent a lot of money to get this. So they're just trying to find ways to work around it. Um, But the people that kind of just stuck on, like, quests and stuff like that are kind of just, like... Not coming back. Actually, that's a, that's a like good question. So I'm not gonna that's lie. That's a good question. And I don't think I'm smart enough to answer it honestly. I <laughs> you're answering I, it. I, answer it. Come on. I don't know. Yeah, I, I'd probably have to think about that because it, it's one of those things where we're like, if you're putting that kind of power yeah. on me, what would I want to change? You know, there is. Okay, okay. Yeah, I got one. I got one. I'd like to change the random ass crashing uh, yeah, online Yeah, I hate service. that. That's actually a really good oh one. Oh my I've god. Crashed, like, we, we've been like, crashing, no. like, this entire time talking. We keep crashing. It's been insane. I mean, I, I guess like they added the safety mode, crashed. which helps with that. But what about for yeah. the people that can't, that don't want to turn it on, you know? That, that yeah. want to be able to see people's avatars and stuff. What about them, mm-hmm. huh? That want to actually talk to people instead of just being in safety mode all the time. I wish you because it's kind of like a hassle like, turn... just go to people, turn on their avatars, turn on their mics and stuff from safety yeah, mode. Yeah, I wish you it's did, like I a wish hassle. You didn't have to turn on people's avatars because yeah, they, they yeah, wouldn't like you thing out I when you have because when you're yeah. new, it's pretty. It's kind of it's very confusing. Uh, what's your YouTube name? So you can probably like cut this out a little bit too. Go subscribe to Humans in VR. Okay, <laughs> 18 plus only. And try to like sort of rack it off the miners and put them in like a section where only miners go, and then so so it's separated, so they so they can't go into the eighteen plus sort of thing. You know what I'm trying to say? Like like a sort of like a barrier. I think the pug is like the perfect example to some extent of what VR chat could be. If you come in here enough, you understand the bad people that are in here. And if there is somebody that's really bad, you just vote kick them. Then there's the other option of blocking and muting the person. That's about the best you can do if that's the case. Listen, man, I understand that, but why do I have to block the same guy every single day of my life because he makes a new account? It's it's so annoying. They can't account for fringe cases, unfortunately. Like, how often do you actually run into that besides that one person? How often do I run into those types of people? Like, all the time. There's entire groups of people in this game that have, like, 10 banned accounts. I have an answer here, but I'm not quite sure how to phrase it. Like, this is very controversial. I've played the game for a while. I still think the game could use some form of moderation, but at the same time, I know that's a super troubling thing. I still get crashed. I still see people saying uh, racial slurs constantly, and I still see people saying all this other crap and stuff like that. Why moderate VRC? Let the community do it. Yeah, but how does the community... I just think, um, you know, places like the Pug here, I come in here like every day or whatever, and it's the same shit every day. The block function <laughs> exists for the reason, you know. I do know that, but for example, I know somebody in this game that has over 300 banned accounts, and he still isn't IP banned. If he's dedicated, you're not going to stop him. He's been doing it for like five oh, years. Damn, that's... <laughs> Therein lies the problem, right? Because nothing you do for moderation, I think, will make people happy. Especially on a game like this. Um, what are you talking about? Especially on a game like this. Because <laughs> everybody has an opinion on this game. It's that's not like I mean. there's a player base. It's especially on a game like this. Yeah. Oh, are you confused by what I mean by that? No, I was trying to put an emphasis on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know how much any of the updates have had to do with any of this, but a lot. I've been playing this for five years. 
and a lot of the maps that we used to have are gone and they did something they changed like the the source code or something i don't know what it was but it infuriated a lot of people when they left so I, would, if I were them, I would work on trying to like. I think what what's the name of one of them? Uh, something saying. Anyway, he was a huge map maker back in the day, and he's gone now. And he, like all you can find is like like a world dedicated to his old worlds. And he explains on there it's because of all these updates that they don't support his world or something. I don't know. But anyway, I guess just make it easier for people to create worlds. You know, just bring more worlds on here because it's, it, the variety actually has surprisingly shrunk over the last five years. You used to have a lot of big worlds, a lot of scary worlds, a lot of worlds. That you, now the, the world quality is way lower than it used to be, and most worlds are just worlds for people hoping to get danced on so i feel like a big piece of vr chat left with him and the other creators that these updates just kept infuriating i would like to see groups not only become more um accessible you know the group feature as in being able to search for groups find groups really quickly and i think most importantly have like group worlds where people can join and stuff like that i, I think they can go a very long way this year with groups there should be like a different system for the ranking system because right now there's like a whole elitism behind it, like the typical people behind mirrors, uh, blocking visitors, even though they never said anything yet and all that. I'm one of those few uh, trusted users that well, still tries to have a nice talk to well people of a lesser trust level. Well, the thing with that is... We still need a way for the shield to work, the safety shields. So that's why I don't have like a definitive reason. Like that's why I don't have a definitive strategy for the up set updates. And I feel like the um, the evolution has been. I used to could go on PC Spotlight and find new things to do every time. But now I go on, I can go through the whole world preview screen and can't find a world I haven't done before, or isn't some stupid club, you know, or some music world, or some just stupid world, you know, like something that would only take two seconds of time to, like, run through, get the hang of, and get out. You don't find any any more games, like, it's just club, 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 and then, you know, mu yeah, music visualizer, music, you know, dance world, uh, just silly Silly stuff. Even like the game worlds used to be better, but I just feel like everyone, I don't know. I don't know if it's just oversaturated or what, but these are the things people are playing. So that's what's crazy to me. Like people are apparently enjoying those worlds because they're dominating. So I don't know if the age, the age brackets changed or what, but to me, it feels like there's just, there's the same kinds of people. The people haven't changed. It's just the worlds and, and what people do have changed. Kindness is contagious. When you are kind, you inspire others. Be the spark. Spreading kindness merchandise available now.